Hi, this is Super Pixel Gamer here. This is my review of the Nintendo 3DS. Alright, when you first get the 3DS, you'll probably notice the two camera lenses on the front. Each one of those is for uh, three-dimensional pictures. Uh, you can only take three-dimensional pictures if you have two camera lenses <coughs> that are next to each other. Right here is a little indicator light uh, for the cameras to tell you when they're in use. Up here is another indicator light. And if you can see that, it's for uh, notifications. So if you ever receive a notification, that little light will start blinking. Uh, there's another feature called Street, I think street Pass. And uh, when you get a notification from that specific part of the device, it'll turn green instead of blue. Uh, on the left side, you'll see there's the little volume slider right there and uh, an SD card slot and this 3DS actually came with a free 2 gigabyte SD card so that was pretty nice um, on the front you've got your headphone port and two more indicator lights this one tells you when the power is on and this one tells you whether it's being charged or not um, on this side You've got your um, little switch that turns on or off the wireless, and the little light is right there for wireless. On the back, where all the magic happens, you've got your game cartridge slot, a stylus that's retractable, which is pretty convenient. And you've got uh, there. You've got your charging plug right here, and these two things on the side are for using the charging cradle. And I'll talk about the charging cradle in my video for DSi. Excuse me, 3DS accessories. And of course, you got your L and your R buttons. Now, something that I'd like to note about the outside of the 3DS is the way it's made it's kinda hard to see here but the upper screen protrudes slightly farther than the bottom screen so that instead of having a little dip in there you can just push it open like that now once you open it uh, a few things that are different about the 3DS as opposed to the DSi is of course the um, I think it's called the circle pad, but I call it a joystick because that's pretty in a pretty basic way what it is. Um, I think this is a really nice new feature that they added. Uh, I really like using it, especially for um, for games like Mario Kart. Uh, of course, for Mario Kart DS, the, that was only compatible with the D-pad, so there are only four directions: up, down, left, and right. But uh, when they release the 3DS edition of Mario Kart, I suspect they'll incorporate all 360 degrees, which will be pretty nice. Also, these start and select buttons have moved down here on either side of the home button. The home button is another new thing. Uh, on the DSi, the, in order to get to your home screen, you had to press the power button once instead of holding it down and that was how you would get to your uh, home screen and here you've got your own button for it also the power button is on the right side now instead of the left because that's where the start and select buttons used to be and of course there's the 3D slider which increases or decreases the intensity of 3D uh, just like the DSi, it's got a small camera on the front as well, or on the inside as well, so you can take pictures of yourself. Uh, this is only a single camera though, so you cannot take 3D pictures with the inner camera. Also, the top screen is larger than the bottom screen. The bottom screen is, uh, I think it's the same size as the original DS screen, but 
if you notice, the top screen is larger than even the DSi top screen. So that's about it for hardware. Now let's take a lift, look at the software. Turn it on. Take out my stylus. Now uh, the default order of apps is health and safety information comes first and then comes the uh, game. I think this is kind of cool. Instead of just showing the game up there, it's got like a 3D image of it rotating and it'll actually stick out at you. I mean, not like popping in your face kind of sticking out, but it really has cool depth if you have the 3D enabled. It doesn't make a difference on the uh, video of course because this is two-dimensional um, so I'm going to leave it at 2D mode just because the screen is brighter that way you've also got your DSi 3DS camera 3DS audio here I'll use this instead um, your Me Maker your Me Plaza a game called AR Games uh, another game that's called Face Raiders uh, there's the activity log, there's the DS download play, and system settings. Uh, one thing that I think is really smart about um, the 3DS compared to the DSi or even the original DS is that every application has its own manual that's included with the uh, package, but it's also installed on the system itself. So if you want to see the manual, you can just tap the manual button under each application and you get the whole manual on the device. That's pretty convenient. And I'll go back to my home menu. Another thing that's pretty cool about the 3DS is it has app suspension or yeah, application suspension. So if I enter an application and then I leave the application via the home button. Uh, this has suspended software written up here so and it shows it as the background for all your uh, images and stuff excuse me for all your applications and so you can uh, do anything from the home menu as long as you stay in the home menu you can go back to your application when you're finished. Now there's been some new features added to the home menu. Uh, this is the internet browser or it's a button reserved for the internet browser. Um, right when the 3DS was released it did not have the browser uh, pre-installed on it that came in a future update and so I can't show that to you because that update hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> right here you've got your notification list um, right now all the notifications I have are default notifications about using the 3DS but different notifications can come from uh, certain applications and certain uh, games and stuff. Here, this feature I really think is a good idea. I haven't got a chance to use it yet because I don't know anyone else with a 3DS but it's a friends list and if you notice here this is my player card uh, it's a lot like um, the Xbox uh, gamer card it, it just gives you a little basic information about you and you can exchange your player card with other people through the DS local connection and this is really nice because then you don't have to enter in those friend codes every time uh, but you can also use friend codes if you want, so you can connect with friends over the internet, uh, so you don't have to meet up with them. The other thing they have are notes, and you can create a note during while, while an app is suspended. So like if I remember, oh yeah, you know, feed cat, so I can make this note, and I can exit. And then, if I'm playing a game, 
and I quit my game, I go to the home menu. I remember, oh yeah, what did I have to do? I can go to my game notes and see. Oh yeah, feed the cat. And I'm going back to my home menu. There's also a feature which is kind of nice. Uh, these two buttons up here, they're like the um, slider on a in Finder on a Mac. Where you can adjust how many icons you can see at one time and they get smaller or larger depending on which button you press and this is kind of a personal preference thing but I think it's a pretty convenient feature also instead of having to dig through system settings every time to adjust the brightness there's this handy little button up here and you can just tap whichever brightness you want you can also use power saving mode turn that on or off I usually have it on and now I can go back to my suspended app and pick up right where I left off. So uh, that's pretty much the 3DS. Um, I'm hopefully going to be reviewing most of these applications and explaining them a little bit, but essentially that's it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.